everybody. Big Jim Country Boy here. Check out my new t-shirt. Displays my big giant hot dog I cooked over a campfire. Isn't that beautiful? I got a bunch of other shirts you can check out. Coffee mugs and sweatshirts, hoodies and everything. I'll leave a link down in the description to the uh, merch store. Until next time, Big Jim Country Boy over and out. Hi everyone. Um, I'm going to roast a pork roast in the oven. Um, I went to a pig roast at a campground years ago and um, this is pretty close to how they season the whole hog for the pig roast and I like to do this and I call it like a mini pig roast because I'm just cooking a pork roast but I season it the same way. I'm going to start with this. I believe this is, yeah, this is a pork shoulder. Let's go ahead and get this out of the bag. I always just frost my stuff in one of these stainless steel chafing pans so that any liquid doesn't leak into my refrigerator and get any cross contamination or anything or just make it wet so now we're going to take this and what I'm using in the back here is a duck roasting pan it's called it has a rack to keep this off the bottom now you still want to add water to this pan to keep the house from filling with smoke. Otherwise the drippings will fall into the bottom of this pan and they'll smoke and burn. If you keep a couple inches of water in there, it'll keep that from happening. Okay, I like to use these Dixie plates, paper plate. We're going to start with about a teaspoon of salt, freshly ground. I counted how many grinds was in a teaspoon one day, but I don't remember. There you have it. Now we're going to put some cumin. There's about a teaspoon. We're going to use about two teaspoons of paprika. Smoked, unsmoked, whatever you like. Then we have granulated garlic, garlic powder. Use garlic salt if that's what you have. Just hold back some of the regular salt. That's about a teaspoon. <clears throat> we got onion powder. We're going to use about a teaspoon of that too. And we have some ground black pepper. We're going to add about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Take a dry spoon and smash any clumps and stir this all together. This is good for rotisserie chicken. It has about the same kind of flavor. Um, we're 
we're going to try to hold back half of this, okay? We're going to try to coat this gently on our pork roast. Like a little bit of a dry rub. You can make a larger quantity if you want. Um, it's a matter of your taste and your budget. Okay, now we're going to put this over upside down, we're going to put this skin side up, okay, and wipe this off just a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to take this knife. And I'm going to score this. Maybe this knife ain't going to work. Bet you this one does. We're going to score the skin. Hit it with the old steel quick. Realign the edge of the blade. That's better. About an inch, half inch apart on an angle. I spin my pan just because this motion is easier for me, I think. We're going to cut and score across there like that, making almost like little dice marks. And that's in the pig skin, pork skin. Okay. Now, what I got is one of these deals for the big poke. We'll put the rest of our spice in this bowl. Add some extra virgin olive oil. About a cup full, maybe. And then we're going to use a whisker twister egg beater, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to stir this in. It takes a little bit. You buy these in the barbecue section at the uh, home improvement stores in the garden area. Now we're going to fill this up by holding that end under the water or under the oil, under the liquid level, and pulling this back and it fills it. Now we're going to go inside here all the way in along the bone. And then we're going to squeeze slowly and put some in there. 
Now we're going to pull this back out and sometimes you got to give it a little rub. We're going to stab it in again here. Give it a little squeeze and just go all over. Stir this up again. And we put this into the bottom of the bowl and pull out on the handle. Any spices that sink down there get sucked into the syringe or the needle. You can see it swell. Watch. Watch here as I squeeze it. You'll see the meat swell up. You might not be able to see it on the video. But when you do this at home, you will. Go down in under the bone to the bottom of the roast. Because we flipped it over. Most of the meat's on the top. Or was on, on the top. Now it's on the bottom. Now this is what we're going to do is help keep this meat moist inside. And uh, it's going to season the inside just as well as the outside. And this, when you do a pig roast, that's what they do. They inject the whole pig like that and then they dry rub it too. And then the rest of this, we're going to clean out over the top of this. Okay. Some of the oil is going to drain out in the pan. Don't worry about that. Just washing my paws. I'll be right there. Now what I do, what I like to do is take a little of all the same spices we just mixed up. I usually mix it ahead of time and fill a big shaker, but I, don't, I haven't done it in a while. I'm going back over this with a dusting of paprika on this pork skin side. All the same spices we just put on. And put in a little black pepper, some more salt. I use the pink Himalayan variety. You should never eat sea salt, it's a byproduct of other things where they get salt from seawater, and it has all kinds of problems with it. It could have lead, mercury, everything else, pollution. Give yourself a good quality old salt, mineral salt, like pink Himalayan or something. That was onion powder. This is more garlic powder. Some cumin. I like that red color, so I'm going over it with some more paprika. Now it's kind of hard to coat that with liquid olive oil like this without pouring it on and rubbing it with your hands here's a trick use the spray olive oil for like baking you just spray that over the top ok 
okay now we got a preheated oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes at 400 then we're going to turn the oven down to 350 and we're going to bake it till we get an internal temperature with our thermometer this guy of 170 degrees but uh i'm going to guess for that size roast probably roughly 10 pounds it's going to be about two more hours two and a half hours at least at 350 after we turn the oven down in a half an hour but uh i'll confirm that later in the video okay everybody here we have it um i turned the oven down i actually forgot turned it down about 45 minutes in to 350 and i baked it for about three hours and this is what we got look at how tender this is bone comes right out of there boy that tastes pretty good get a little cut in here See if I can flip it right above. Ooh, that's still hot. Wow. Now, if I take a slice off of here, you can usually see. I know you're going to taste it. But that seasoning where we injected that. That's just scrumptious. That's beautiful. You see that? That's all seasoning. Right inside of the meat. Not just on the top here. Let's see if I can get you another sample here to show you. The seasoning's in the meat, not just on the outside. That's just why you want to inject that flavor in there. Look at that seasoning in there. That's all your spices and stuff. Get a juice come out of there. See that? That's what that olive oil and those spices does. That's that's a roast that cooked for almost four and a half hours. Or did cook for four and a half hours. Out of this world. That's what I call your baby pig roast. It's not a baby pig, but I wouldn't eat that. But that's so juicy, succulent, flavorful. Try that the next time you want to make a pork shoulder roast. It tastes just like a summer barbecue where you have a pig roast. Till next time, Big Jim Country Boy, I'm out of here. God bless you and your family.